Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to print to EPS file from any Windows application. We need to download three utilities from the internet and the utilities are GS View, Ghost Script and Redmon. Okay, now we will download it from the net search for GS view go to this this side this is the new version but we will not install the new version we will install this one go to ghost come GS view version 5 download this I have a 64 bit operating system so I will download this one click on it okay start download Do you want to read? No. Now we will download Ghost Script. Go to Downloads. Go script. I have a 64 bit operating system, so I will download the 64 bit version. Ghost script. Start download. And the next is Redmon. Open folder. Redmon Redirection port, port monitor We will download the latest version 1.9 Ok Start download Ok Now We go to C drive Ok I will delete I will do it right from the beginning I will delete this folder also and I will create a new folder name it as gs you can name it whatever you want open this now create a new folder for go script installation g s c r i p t ghost script create another folder for gs view g s v r e w okay now Okay, some problem with this GS view. I will download it once again. Cancel this one. GH Ghost Script 64 bit. Start. Open folder. Okay, now I will install Go Script, which I have downloaded just now. Click on Yes. Then click on Next. I agree. Now we will select the folder GS and GS Script, which we created few minutes back. Okay. This is how how I do it. You can do in your own way. Install. Finish. Now I will install GS View. GS View, which I downloaded just now. GS. Okay, it's not showing over here. Let me check this. Yes. View. This is also not downloaded, I think. I have to download this file again. Okay, no, no problem. Google GS View. This click on this 64 bit. Okay. Start download. Open folder. Cut. Sorry. Right click. 
open it. Click on yes. Go to setup. Click on next, next, next. Now select the folder GS which we created. GS. We created GS view for this. Okay. Click on next, next, and then finish. Exit. Exit this. Now we will install Redmon. Redmon. Okay, I will download Redmon. We will cut this and paste it here under this folder. Rename it to Redmon. Extract this. Delete the zip file. Click on Redmon and install. Yes. Okay. So the installation part is over. Now I will show you how to configure. Uh, uh, go script to uh, print EPS files Okay, now we will install a uh, printer and configure it uh, to create P uh, EPS files For that we have to go to elevated command prompt press Windows and X then click on run type cmd and then control alt shift and enter click on yes now you have come to elevated command prompt now issue the command run dll32 print ui dot dll comma print u i e n t r print u i entry slash i l add a local printer or network printer with manual settings then click on next create a new port select redirected port now click on next Click on OK. Have browse. Open the C drive. Go to GS folder. Then G script. Then lib folder and select ghost PDF dot INF. Open. Now click on OK. Now click on Next. OK. Next. Rename it to EPS files now click on next do not share this printer now click on next and do not print a test page and finish now we will configure the port of this printer to print EPS files ok now we will configure the port Dr. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Run control printers. Click on OK. Now this is the printer which we have installed. Click on this. Now click on Print Server Properties. Then click on Ports. Then change port settings. Now click on uh, RPT1, this is the redirected port which we created. Now click on configure port. Now we click on browse.
go to gs folder g script bin and we will select this one gs win 64c click on open now here we will paste this text sorry this one copy this and paste it here this will be prompt for file name run will be hidden click on ok now close this now open the C drive the GS folder right click new create a file epswrite.txt sorry it's already there copy this and paste it here now we will give a print and check whether it is working or not ok we will print this file let's see file print select eps files and give a print command it will ask for a file name i will save it on the desktop test.eps click on save now check whether it is created or not yes it is created now open the contents double click on it ignore the warning click ok and ok ok it is working now that's it so your EPS files are created ok guys so let me know whether you like the video or not please do subscribe and share the video thank you so much